Okay, so yet another unboxing. Um, this is a Corsair K95. Um, probably one of the best game, uh, game keyboards on the market. Same with the, uh, the Acer monitor. We just got the best here. Um, so this is Cherry MX Reds, uh, full RGB. Comes with a palm rest. And overall, it is just an incredible keyboard. Uh, I don't think I've seen a bad review, review of it so far. But um, I will tell you myself whether it is good or bad because I have an uh, MX Red switch myself. But basically, let's get right into the box. There's not much to say about it except it has all your Cherry MX switches here. It says RGB. And there's not much else to be said about the box. I'll turn this over. So there it is. You get a knife. Actually, I will take this out of the box. I'll get it out of the box and we'll come back to it when it's, uh, when it's out. So with the outside sleeve gone, I can now open the box and reveal the K95 itself. So here we have the USB cable. I can get into the box. So here we have our palm rest and documentation here. Over to the side. And we'll get the keyboard itself. So the deal with the two USB ports is you can have full functionality over the keyboard, RGB and everything if you use two USB 2 or one USB 3. That's what the two USB keys are for. Um, so up here we have media control buttons, play, pause, uh, fast forward, rewind, stop, volume, uh, volume wheel and a mute button. As well as a Windows lock button. If you're brightness then you have full macro keys down the side so when you're in gaming you want to do something you can do that and the keyboard itself sounds incredible uh, it is a full a full uh, with the number pad I can't remember the word for it but uh, it has the number pad as well which helps because I've noticed having a 10 keyless keyboard uh, you'd often be looking for that rather than using these so that, that's handy but the um, full RGB should be nice, especially if you are if you have a system that can basically go any colour. You can change this to be the same. And with a palm rest, which is the one downside of using one that doesn't have one. Your hands can get pretty tired when you're, when you're gaming because you're constantly kind of in a claw grip. This screws into the side. I'm trying to see where it will go in. But um. Yeah, it's an incredibly nice looking keyboard. Um, not much to be said, I believe it is made of full al aluminum, if you want to be American, or aluminium if you're from anywhere else. And here we have the Corsair logo, a bit of plastic on it, over there. Yeah, we have plenty of macro keys here, so, and then you're not going to run out with them. You're going <laughs> to have a good time gaming or doing whatever you want to do with them. But the main thing I want to stress about this is the feel of it. Uh, you can feel the difference between the Chinese version of the Cherry MX and the real Cherry MX. These feel a lot more sturdy, like you're really getting your money's worth. And then there is no flex whatsoever in this keyboard. It's pretty weighty as well. So a lot of the case, with, especially when you're talking about power supplies, though you can feel the weight in them. Same with this, you can feel it and you just kind of feel that it's very, very quality. But um, yeah, basically, and you have your Windows lock key without having to do function F9 or F10, whatever. And on the back here, we have a switch, I believe it's here. I'm trying to feel where it is, it's there. Yeah, so you can go through, you have up to four, I believe, different profiles for different colors. So it's like you're overclocking um, profiles in, in your BIOS, basically. You can have your different 
RGB settings or whatever, different macro set to different things. Um, but yeah, you have full media here, which is handy. Um, and the volume wheel rather than a couple of buttons, because that means it's pretty easy to just scroll up and down. And there is a very slight kind of uh, bite to it, so you can kind of feel what you're going down. Even that, you can tell it's quality. Now the reason I say quality constantly is when you're spending so much on a keyboard, you want to know that you're getting a very good product. But all in all, it looks, feels perfect. It's very high quality. Even the cable is that thick. But yeah, that's basically it. I will do a test. Um, gaming, typing, all that uh, later on in the video. But um, for now, that's about it.